Okay, let's see how this works. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, my broken bulb. There, take one out and that'll work. How come the lights are still working over here? Merry Christmas. Hello everybody and welcome back to NJC Software. How'd you like the new intro? I have finally decided to stick with NJC Software. Today I don't really have a lot of stuff going on. The reason why I couldn't post any videos during the past month was there was a lot of stuff going on and to be honest I didn't really want to post a video on YouTube. I wanted to actually post a video on my unboxing and review of the Nerf Rival Atlas, the shotgun of the Rival series. But the camera I was using was playing so many tricks, the whole image was so blurred out. So today I thought maybe I could do a review on this, how it performs and all that. At the end of the video, maybe I can pit it against my Rival Apollo, the pistol of the Rival line. Okay, I'm going to be shooting this at a box that's all the way down there. It fell down, but I'm going to prop it back up in a second. That box is actually about 80 feet away. Now I've heard that Rival can only reach about 30 feet in range. So we're going to see how far this can actually go with the N-Strike Recon Sight. Right, now let's give it a try. Didn't come close. Closer, one of them bounced into the box. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that this fires two shots at a time. So. With a 12 round magazine, you only get 6 shots. It's kind of disappointing, but really nice when you can put up the flak. Okay, now I'm going to try it at 50 feet and see what happens. Overshot. Fairly close. Alright, now let's try the rival Apollo. Wow, special effects are cool, huh? It would have made it, but it veered off to the side. Maybe I didn't account for the wind. Hit! Alright, let's try and bring this back a little. Okay, now I'm going to try it at about 65 feet. Now what happened there? Okay, the shots are veering off too much at this range. So, it's probably better to just leave it at about 40 feet or something. Needless to say, the Apollo wins. It has longer range than the Atlas and fires one rival round at a time so you don't lose as much ammunition. And hopefully the wind doesn't blow all mine away so I can find them again. And since it's getting close to Christmas, I would actually recommend this as a Christmas present. It's smaller than any of the other rival blasters. Um, I'm spring powered, no batteries. With that being said, do I regret buying the Atlas? No. It's a very fun blaster to use. So anyway, that's my comparison between the Atlas and the Apollo. I just love those special effects. They're just so cool. Hey, could you take this away from me just for a second? Huh. I want it back. I'm just going to tell you, I'm not going to be able to pour out videos at a tremendous rate like I wanted to or did, you know, like nearly every week. So I'm just going to try and get a video out whenever I can, as soon as I can, and make it as good as I can. All right? Hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. I'll see you later. Goodbye, good luck, and may God bless. See you next time. Now I just have to find all my rival rounds before they all blow away. Mm -hmm.